Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I have this really subtle, you know, really regal type of look going on. I mean with the face, I don't know about the hair. <laughs> but I really love, you know, a simple bit. You guys know I love a simple bit and I just got to play with one eyeshadow and I'm just like, yes. I've got this really nice smoky brownish look going on and I paired it up with red lips. I actually did this exact same look um, a few days, uh, actually yesterday, what am I saying, a few days back. Well, by the time this comes out, this will have been a <laughs> week later, But um, I did this look um, yesterday, exactly the same thing. The only thing I changed, the only thing I changed was lips and the hair. So if you follow me on Instagram, which if, you, if you're not, do follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave the link down here. So follow me on Instagram because sometimes even if I don't post here, I maybe post some looks and stuff like that. But anyways, um, I did the exact same thing. I only changed the hair. In that one, I wore like a sleek back, you know, long ponytail or whatever. And now I just have this like, puff going on, which I'm like, yes, honey, yes, honey. <laughs> anyways. Um, so yes, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I will really, really, really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram if you're not following me, and just you know, let's connect. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, let's get into the video. <laughs> so I'm going to start by priming my face with my Mac. Um, sorry, my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and my Becca Primer. Putting the smoothing primer all over my face and then I'll just apply the Becca on my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily and I if I put it on the rest of my face it will be too matte for me. Next I'm going to apply my Bobbi Brown um, skin foundation. You guys know this is like my favorite foundation at the moment. Um, it is in the shade, um, I think, Espresso or 10.25, at least that's the number. So I'm just using my finger and I'm just going to apply my, use my beauty blender to just blend that out. I'm focusing on the hairline, you see me trying to make sure that it blends properly so I don't have like this demarcation or whatever. So I'm sort of blending it a little bit into my edges, just a little bit. And then I'm going to blend out the rest of my face. And now I'm going to highlight my face using my LA Girl and Toast. <laughs> it is pretty much finished so I just cut underneath it and I just use this brush to scoop it over. And I find that using this brush, number one, makes me apply way less product than I normally would if I was just using the tip. And it it just helps me to like smooth the product on my face, like you know, like lay it flat before I blend it out. So I've been really enjoying using this like flat brush to do that now i'm just going to quickly blend that out starting with the parameters of my face just so it blends properly with my foundation before i go to the center part and make sure your beauty blender is down so that you can blend properly And I'm just applying a little bit more on my eyelid because I tend to crease, you know, there, and that's going to serve as my eyeshadow base as well. So I just reapplied it to thicken it, and I immediately set that with with a mixture of my Espon translucent powder and my Laura Mercier um, powder in medium, the brown one. Normally I like to use it by itself. I've been enjoying that lately, but. If I want a little bit of brightness, I mix both of them. So I'm just setting everywhere that I highlighted, pressing the product in so I don't so much as bake, and so the product gets into my, you know, gets into that concealer into my face. Now I'm going to use my Morphe 35 OM palette to contour my face. I'm also going to use that for my eyes as well, but now I'm just taking those dark shades and contouring my face with it. With them, rather. And now I'm just going to clean 
underneath that contour with my translucent powders with the powders I used for my face earlier and I immediately take that out I don't really bake and as you can see the pro because the product set into my face it gives it a fine finish using my MAC NW58 powder I'm just going to um, blend my entire face together and make sure everything is blended properly I'm just pinching the brush I used to contour and I'm just contouring my nose with that Now I'm just going back with a little bit more contour because when I put the powder it kind of takes away a little bit of a little bit of the contour. Using that color, I'm going to apply that on my lid. This is the only color I use. So I start by stacking it using this like um synthetic flat brush synthetic flat brush and I stack that onto my face and then I take a blending brush. And I just sort of smoke it out a little bit and take it a little bit upwards and blend it out using circular motions and I'm going to now focus on the outer part I'm not really bringing um, the product in now I'm just focusing on it to give it like a more smoky effect so you can see that the outer V or my crease side, uh, the crease part is looking darker just slightly to give it like a smoked effect, you know. Using my Colourpop Cosmetics gel liner in DTLA, I'm going to line my waterline. Taking that same eyeshadow, I'm just going to first use a denser brush to sort of create like like a like a line underneath my lower lash line and I'm going to use a little bit fluffier smaller brush to smoke that out now I'm going in with my Maybelline gel liner I'm putting that right on top of that DTLA because most times when I use this black one by itself I get really really teary and I'll be tearing up pretty much the whole entire time I have the makeup on and it's so frustrating so I find, find that using that DTLA first and then putting that on top has stopped the teariness, so to say. Now using my NYX, NYX Neo um, or black liquid liner, I'm just slightly lining my my eyes with that. Now for my brows, using my wet and white brow pencil in dark brown, I first of all um, use a spoolie to brush the hair out. Now I'm just using this to sort of line and fill in the brows. I can leave it like this, so to say, with, with just this um, brow pencil, but I like to go with my ABH um, Deep Brow in Ebony, and I just like to slightly fill that in to give a little bit darker, you know, effect on all of that. So I'm lining it as well as slightly filling it. I, I, a little goes a long way. I just use a little bit of this because I don't want it to be too dark, you know, and I want to get that natural brow look, as you can see. And I'm just taking a spoolie again and I'm just brushing the brow hairs in place and also blending the product. Going into my Wild and Radiant Palette by BH Cosmetics. I haven't used this in a long time, but I've... I've been loving it lately. I'm just going to highlight my brows and as well as the inner corners of my eyes as I just did. And I'm just blending that with my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to apply it on my face. My cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, all that jazz. Taking this two blushes from my Juvia's Place Blush Palette Volume 2, I'm just going to blush up my face. I just go back and forth with both colors. I'm adding a little bit more here just to 
give me a nice brush I forgot about my nose so highlighting my nose now with the same highlighter Now I like to go back with that brush without adding any product or a little bit of product and I just bring out that highlight again as well as my contour without adding any product, just use the brush. Now I'm going to spray my favorite setting sprays, the NYX Matte and Dewy Spray. I first go with the matte one and I drench my face in that and then I spray a little bit of the dewy one on top. And you want to fan it in immediately. I like to go back with my spoolie to brush my brow hairs immediately after finishing the spray because it gives this like natural, more natural look. It makes the hair more defined, so to say. The wetness I mean makes it more defined. Using my lash sensational by Maybelline, this is how I make my lower lash my lower lashes look like I put falses but I don't people always ask me so I just do like a double coat and I'll find out on my top lashes as well just a single coat for the top lashes now I'm doing the beauty spot I was trying to show it but I kind of missed the beginning of it so I'm just using the same eyeliner I use for my top lash line I'm just putting that on that pimple to block it to yeah block the pimple now using my uh, the same wet and wild brow pencil I use for my brows I use that for my lips as well and now using my Fenty Beauty Stunner lipstick I don't know why I hardly use colored lipstick I'm more of a nudish type of person so I was excited to use this because I, I haven't used it in a long time and I'm just applying that on my lips. This is the first coat. I usually coat it twice so that you know it shows more. You want to take your time with this because it is bright red. But I really, really love it. It's like a reddish orange or orange red, <laughs> reddish. I don't know. It's more red than orange, but you can see the orangish tint. Now for my lashes, I'm applying this um, AliExpress lashes and I'm just showing you guys the glue, the way the glue looks before I put it on. Sometimes I let it get more tacky than that, but I was in a hurry, so this is how I apply my lashes as close to your natural eyes as possible. And this is the look guys before I wear my hair. So this is the finished look guys. Something very simple. I really hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> something. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm about to leave the house now, so I wanted to keep it simple, and I really, really, really love how it turned out. So, um, let me know what your thoughts are, and please don't forget to like this video if you do like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and most importantly, don't forget to leave and not exist. I know you guys hear that every time. <laughs> believe and not exist and yeah remain blessed i will see you in my next video and i don't know